My name is Tristana Soli and I'm a part of the PSW program in Ms. Shari's class. And today we'll be demonstrating a client's input and output measurement. Here on my surface, I have my unclean area and my clean area and our sanitization. So firstly, I would like to sanitize my hands. Then I'll be placing on the gloves. So the reason why I'm placing the gloves on my hands is to avoid any contamination from the urine to my hands and any contamination that might be on my hands, avoiding it to be on the urine. So, so here we have our graduate cylinder, our measuring cup. And on most cylinders, we have two types of measurement, OZ and milliliters. So we'll be transporting our graduate from our clean area to our unclean area where we have the urine. So we'll generally do this over a toilet. So to avoid any splashes or any spills on the surface area. Then we'll be placing this back and I'll be using a paper towel to rinse to avoid any contamination to the sink. I'll be placing our graduate back down. And then we'll be measuring this at eye level on a flat surface area. So we'll go down and as I can see, it's at 75 milliliters. Then we'll be disposing of the urine in the toilet using back or paper towel, disinfect, and pour. Then the next step that I would like to demonstrate is I'll be taking back off my gloves. So pinch, then I'll be putting my fingers under to form a ball. Then I'll be discarding of the gloves. Then I'll be sanitizing back my hands. And then I will document the output. So normally we'll do this on a sheet. So on the sheet is a demonstration of the client's name, their room, my name, the time that I took the measurement, and the amount. So the amount was 75 milliliters. So guys, another important thing that I'd like to suggest is as a PSW, we are the eyes of the nurse. And if we notice anything in the urine, so it may be pale, it might have a discoloration, or it might be, or it might have a full scent. So we would like to document that and tell the nurse. So the reason for this, guys, we should demonstrate this safely and accurately. Thank you. Hi, we'll be continuing our input and our output measurements. So we'll be knocking on the client's door, promoting privacy, closing the doors, or drawing the blinds. Hi, Mrs. Rose, how are you doing today? My name is Trisani Slowly and I'm a PSW and I'll be taking your input measurements. So we'll be sanitizing our hands putting on our gloves to promote safety. And here we have a graduate or measuring cylinder. And here we have a juice bottle where the measurement is at 500 milliliters. So we'll be pouring the remaining juice in our graduate, avoiding any splashes or spills. Measuring this at eye level on a flat surface. So here we can see that the client did not consume 50 milliliters. And knowing this in my brain, I'm going to take off back my gloves, discarding of it, sanitizing, and documenting.
documenting our observation. So here we have a piece of paper where the juice is 500 milliliters. So we'll be documenting this. And the amount the client did not drink, which is 50. So we'll be subtracting 50 milliliters from 500 milliliters, which will lead us to 450 milliliters. So the client retained 450 milliliters in our body. And if we want to take it a step further, where we had our output of 75 milliliters of urine, so we'll be subtracting 450 from 75, which will lead us to 375 milliliters. So in all, our client has retained 375 milliliters. So once again, guys, we do this to promote safety and we hope that we'll do it accurately so that we can help promote client health and well-being. Thank you.